Hey guys, Kevice Free here. Just wanted to do a quick video on my Kids Walkthroughs channel, just to discuss a few things that I've been up to and what I'm going to be doing. You know, what other videos I'm going to be doing on the channel. Right. So, as you guys may have known, I have recently done my WWE 2K14 Royal Rumble simulations, and as we all know, the pay-per-view sucked ass. I knew for a fact that Batista was going to win the Royal Rumble. Uh, it's great to have him back, but that I didn't really see the point that they just put Batista, you know, in the Royal Rumble just like that, and he'll just win straight away. I would have expected Roman Reigns to win that Rumble because you know he's broken the Royal Rumble record of 12 eliminations, and you know he's just been, you know. Ro Roman Reigns is the top guy, in my opinion, for the Shield. As we all know, Roman Reigns is just one of those people where he can just dominate any superstar. I mean, like, Royal Rumble, as we all saw, including he eliminated his tag partners. Um, Seth Rollins, I think he can be uh, somewhere in the mid-carder. Uh, Dean Ambrose, on the other hand, he hasn't defended his title in a few months, um, though... He defended the, t the title against Mark Henry on Raw, in which Mark Henry almost defeated Dean Ambrose to become the new US Champion, but the Shield interfered. So I have no idea when Dean Ambrose is going to put the title on the line, but I'm, I'm possibly thinking that Mark Henry is going to put the title on the line at the Chamber. Um, at the moment we have the Chamber match, where Randy Orton puts his title on the line against uh, John Cena, Daniel Bryan, uh, Sheamus, Chris, Christian and Antonio Cesaro so that's going to be an interesting match although I do think that either Cena will win or Orton could retain the title and you know face Batista at Wrestlemania um, we've got the White family versus the Shield saying that's been going on for quite some time now um, can I wait for that but I do actually think that the Shield will actually win that match um, and also we've got Batista vs Del Rio, obviously Batista's going to win. So those are the matches that were scheduled so far, but if I wanted to see, sorry guys, because I'm doing something, if I wanted to see a US title match, I would say, actually because Dean Ambrose is in a six man tag, why can't he have two matches, you know? That's what's best for business, US title match and the six man tag match. So I do actually like to see Dean Ambrose put the title on line against Mark Henry. That's that's just my opinion. Um, for Big E Lanston's Intercontinental title, I do think that um, you know I don't know. It's 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 hard to say who I want to face Big E Lanston for the Intercontinental title. I mean I I like Big E Lanston. I think he's done some great things in the company. Um, I didn't like him when he was with Dolph Ziggler, he's just kind of like one of them guys, you know. But as time goes on, uh, yeah, he's done quite alright for himself. Uh, AJ Lee would like to see her defend the title against either, uh, I think, Nikki and Naomi. But we'll see what happens. And also, we've got New Age Outlaws becoming the new tag champions. And I do like to see them defend the titles against the Usos. So that's just my pick on the uh, Chamber pay review itself. And um, if I can do the simulations. Now obviously I've never skipped any simulations. But if I cannot do this one. Because depending on like uh, my brother who normally comes over. Uh, you know once a month and stays for the weekend he has he hasn't uh come over last month uh because of his because he's working and he's saving up because he's getting married in the summer uh which i will be going to um but more info on that when that time comes and um yeah so if he's if he comes over next week i do try i am going to try and do all the simulations I can because uh, I'm on half term uh, a few days you know I'm, I have half term I break up for half term 
tomorrow on Friday. Today is Thursday, and the time I'm recording this it's 12:20 uh, a.m. So um, if my brother's over the weekend and I, if there's like one simulation that I haven't done, and it's like a Friday, then obviously I cannot do it. But I'll do a video on my predictions and all that. So if I cannot do any simulations for a certain point of view, I'll just do my predictions video and um, see what happens. Now the next one I want to talk about is that recently, um, actually I'll say that's last. Um, I did my collection update, and those were the things for my uh, things I picked up off eBay because recently I picked up stuff off eBay. So I got games like Rage, uh, Tom Clancy's uh, Ghost Recon Double Agent. Is it Double Agent? No, it's uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier. I got Operation Flashpoint. Uh, actually, did I get that? Did I put that in the collection update? Operation Flashpoint? I, I have no idea. Um, I got Army of Two. Um, and I picked up a few GameCube titles as well. Uh, I do have another collection update for you guys at the end of this month. I recently picked up some DVDs, uh, which you won't see until the collection update. I recently started to get WWE DVDs. Uh, there have been some pay-per-views that I missed out in my collection. Uh, basically some of them from like 2006, 2007 and you know so and so and even the ones from the 90s. Um, so I will do a video on that at the end of this month. Um, and recently, well the other day I actually Finally, I have done my episode 2 playthrough of Back to the Future the video game, which I will um, upload sometime this week. Uh, and hopefully I'll get through the other episodes uh, this month and you know just get that over and done with. Because I did episode 1 a few months ago and I'd like to finish the rest of the episodes so I can move on with other things and projects that I'd like to do. Right, so another thing that I'd like to talk about is um, recently I've been talking to someone. Uh, now this isn't really important, but I'd just like to talk about it. Recently talked to someone on uh, Facebook, because I met this person on the adding game thing, and she lives up north, and so on and so forth, and we recently been talking on Skype. Now, I did actually say that uh, this was like months ago, I cannot remember what video I did it in I did actually say that my mic was not working for my laptop so if I use anything like Omegle or if I want to edit a video on Movie Maker my mic does not work but if I go on Skype my mic works so it's like what the hell so yeah I recently been talking to this person on Skype uh, luckily enough the other day we did to have a four hour Skype call which was you know, just amazing. Talking about the Harry Potter spoof, you know, where it goes, you're Wizard Harry, and, you know, but, you know, that's just, that was cool. Uh, recently talked to uh, uh earlier, but we had some internet issues, so and so forth. And last night, before going to bed, because um, obviously when I use my laptop, I do my AVG scan. Uh, so I scan my computer with AVG, when that's done I just turn off the computer, but last night I must have fell asleep because I didn't actually know until this morning. Uh, so I turned it on and I noticed, well before I turned it on I noticed that my charger was still plugged and it's like, oh I forgot to unplug the charger and you know turn off the electricity for the charger, but you know but at least it saved me time because I still need to replace my charger which uh, had that little issue for quite some time now and um, I turned it on and I noticed that uh, my computer was still signed in so basically I fell asleep while AVG finished and uh, my com computer went to standby and it shut itself off so it's like whoops <laughs> I've never actually done that before but um, Actually, I have, and that the last time I done it was like 2011. I don't know why I've done it. I think it's because I spoke to this person on Skype uh, late at night, and you know, just fell asleep because my tiredness and such. 
but um, but yeah, the the Skype call is worth it, you know, because I hardly use Skype, but now where I'm currently using it now, you know, it's just amazing. But it does make my computer run slow as shit. When I use Skype, it just runs slow. <laughs> so if I'm looking for something on eBay that I want to bid on, my computer runs slow when I'm on Skype. If I'm not on Skype, my computer runs fine, like like it is now. It's fine, um, which is quite odd. But uh, I do actually have to go for my computer because I have so m much music, and I do actually want to back up some videos on my external wire drive, which I have, um, you know, just sitting right in front of me in its little storage thing. But um, yeah. Um, so that's my update for you guys. I just want to quickly talk about that, my eBay stuff. And let me just quickly say this: um, I checked my eBay earlier, and I recently sold four four items on me on eBay, and that was my PSP UMDs. Now I did forget to do a video, but I will do soon. I sold four PSP UMD movies, which are Step Brothers. Van Helsing, um, <laughs> Night in the Museum, and um, Scooby Doo the movie, and uh, you know, great prices. I sold them all. One of them went for like six pounds, and the other, the others went to its normal price. Like the others went to like five pound fifty. And I got something like £21 in my PayPal account, but I haven't checked it in a few days. I just checked it, and now it says I got £15.33 for some reason. But I didn't even transfer any money into my account, because I actually tried it, and it said I can't. Because, you know, you know you've got that certain balance you can transfer into your account. But mine, mine says withdraw, you know, so-and-so. But mine says zero, so I cannot withdraw anything at the moment. But uh, it's weird, you know. I had £21, and now I got £15.33 for some reason. I have no idea. But uh, I, don't, I cannot transfer anything to my bank account, which, you know, it, it's, you know, I've had fun looking for stuff on eBay for some really great prices. But, uh,. You know why if anyone had this problem and knows what the issue is feel free to let me know with this PayPal thing because I had 21 pound I just checked it earlier and now it says 15 pound 33 no idea why but uh, if any of you guys know feel free to uh, message me and uh, because I'm totally new to this eBay thing I've been using it for well I've started putting stuff on eBay for about two weeks now. Uh, haven't sold anything this week, but you know, uh, I do actually have games for sale on eBay. I have Where the Wolfins Are, X Factor, and I will be listing TV Superstars, um, Harry Potter, and The Half Blood Prince, and The Order of the Phoenix, which I will do a video on and actually give you the link so you can check out my items and if you're interested feel free to uh, uh, check them out and uh, yeah so that's it guys for my update I uh, hope you enjoyed and this kept you informed uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you want to which is at kidvice 3 and um, yeah I'll let you get on with your day and hopefully I do not get sidetracked when I'm on Skype because when I was on Skype I do get sidetracked on what I'm doing so if I wanted to look at a certain YouTube video or if I wanted to upload something I'll be on Skype you know and then once I'm off Skype I'm being like crap I'll, I spent all that time on Skype and I didn't even even upload this video whoops you know um, but yeah but that's the way things go you know I think the Skype thing was really worth it with the person I was talking to and um, yeah so that's it guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you for my next video. See ya.